Tsunami Tsunami is a Japanese word that means, harbor wave. A tsunami is a series of great sea waves, caused by an underwater earthquake, landslide, or volcanic eruption. More rarely, a tsunami can also be caused by an asteroid, or meteorite crashing into the water from space. Most tsunamis are caused by underwater earthquakes, but not all underwater earthquakes cause tsunamis. An earthquake has to be over a magnitude of 6.75 on the Richter scale, for it to cause a tsunami. What causes a tsunami? A tsunami is caused by a large displacement of water. The Earth's outer layer, the crust is made up of huge slabs called, tectonic plates. These plates are constantly moving, at a few centimeters each year. When the tectonic plates move against each other, sometimes the plates get stuck, the pressure builds up and they suddenly slam into a new position. This causes an earthquake. If an earthquake happens in the ocean, a large piece of Earth's crust can be lifted upward, or slip from side to side. The movement of a large chunk of ocean floor, displaces the water above it, which means the water above the ocean floor rises, and starts spreading across the ocean in all directions. When a huge volume of water has been displaced, the wavelength of the resulting wave, the distance from one wave crest to another, is very long, which can be between 100 and 300 kilometers. But not very tall, especially in the deep sea, the top of the wave rarely reaches, more than one meter higher than the ocean swell, which is why they are not noticed by sailors. In the deep sea, a tsunami can move as fast as a jet plane, over 800 kilometers per hour, and it takes just a few hours to travel across an entire ocean. As the wave moves closer to the shore and enter shallower water, it slows down and begins to grow taller. When they strike land, most tsunamis are less than 3 meters high, but in extreme cases, they can reach heights of over 30 meters. A tsunami may come on shore like a fast rising flood, or a wall of turbulent water, and a large tsunami can flood low-lying coastal areas more than a mile inland, causing tremendous damage. Tsunamis can travel as far as 16 kilometers inland, depending on the shape and slope of the shoreline. This means, they can be dangerous even for people, who aren't on the beach, and it can be extremely destructive. A tsunami is not a single wave, but a series of waves, known as a wave train. After the first wave strikes land, it could be followed by more waves that may even be bigger, stronger, and dangerous. Most tsunamis about 80%, happen within the Pacific Ocean's Ring of Fire, a geologically active area where earthquakes, and volcanic eruptions frequently take place. Most devastating and deadliest tsunamis wiped away towns, taking tens of thousands lives in a matter of hours. For example, in 2004, a magnitude 9.1 earthquake triggered, the Indian Ocean Tsunami. The tsunami killed nearly 230,000 people across 12 countries, with Indonesia, Sri Lanka, India, Maldives, and Thailand experiencing massive damage. And in 2011, a magnitude 9.0 earthquake triggered a massive tsunami in Japan, that devastated Sendai and the surrounding area, and nearly 20,000 people were killed. Tsunamis are detected by open ocean buoys, and coastal tide gauges, which report information to stations within the region. Sometimes, before a tsunami hits, there is a huge vacuum effect, sucking water from the coast exposing the ocean floor, reefs and fish, meaning a big tsunami may be on its way. Also strong or long ground shaking near the coast, a loud roaring sound similar to that of a train, coming from the ocean, are also few clues to get to safety. Official and natural warnings are equally very important, and be prepared to respond immediately to any tsunami warnings. Move quickly to a safe place by following posted evacuation signs, or go to high ground, or as far inland as possible.